In this lecture, we are going to continue the analysis of 1D element and we are going to learn about bending of beams. So till now we have applied the axial loading. But when we apply the bending load, the whole thing changes because in bar and rod element, it does not allow the bending. To create the bending, we need to create the separate type of element that is called the beam element. So now first let's understand our problem then we are going to solve it in hypermesh. We have a beam element like this and onto this beam you can see the length is 500 mm and we are going to apply a vertical downward force of some value and this beam is fixed from the left side. So the cross section of this beam is rectangular cross section the value 100 and 100. And the material as usual we are going to take the steel of given values and the unit system we are going to follow is Newton mm second. Now let's see the handy calculation value for this beam bending. So the bending of beam is calculated from the theorem that is called the beam bending theorem. I'm not going into the depth of this theorem. You can find it in any books of mechanics of solid or strength of material. I'm just going to give you an overview how the calculation is done. This is basically the bending stress. So this is bending stress and it is calculated by the formula M Y by I. M is the moment here and uh, in our case we can calculate it using the force that is P and multiply by the length or you can say distance of the force value and uh, Y is called the distance from the neutral axis and this I is called the moment of inertia which is calculated using BD cube by 12. So this B is the horizontal value that is breadth and this is the depth. So in our case it is 100 and 100. So length is 500. So we have all these values. From here we calculate the value of stress that is turning out to be somewhere close to 300. And deflection is given by the formula P L cube divided by 3 E I. So E is the Young's modulus here. We have value of I L P and we get the value 2.4 mm. To understand this when you apply any bending force on a beam like this let's say here. Because of the bending the top surface will be in tension and the bottom surface will be in compression. So it is going to bend like this. So you will get the cross section area like this and it is in tension and this bottom is in compression. So there will be some neutral axis where there will be no tension and no compression that is called the neutral axis. So this y value is calculated from the distance of neutral axis. So it is calculated this half value. If it is symmetric, it is going to be half value of this length. So with this understanding, we can solve this problem in hypermesh. But before this, we need to understand one more concept here. So this is the concept of CDEF point. Consider this. We have this cross section of the beam. Now, in our case, this value is 100. This is 100. So we need to tell the software that which axis is the neutral axis and where there will be the compression and tension because software automatically does not find these values. We need to provide it by ourselves. That is why there is a concept of CDEF point. If you take a look at the center, this center is considered the origin or 0, 0 of this beam and this top center point CDEF F point will be center point on each side of the beam and we have to find out the coordinate value. So you can see from here if we take a look at our coordinate here this is basically vertical. So let's say this is x and this is y and this is my 0 0. So this is going to be 50 0 this is 0 50 negative 50 0 and 0 negative 50 and this is the neutral axis. So we need to also provide this information to the software so that the bending problem can be solved. So now we can go to hypermesh and solve this problem. 
so here first i'm going to create the beam section to create the beam section we can go to 1d and hyper beam we can also directly go to this hyper beam from here this time i'm going to create from this hyper beam view click on this now it is empty so make a right click create standard section let's say i will create with hyper mesh and i will create solid rectangle so this horizontal value is 100 and this vertical value is 100 press f here so now this rectangular section is done i can click on model view and after that i'm going to create the material i will make a right click create the material so material is steel steel so this e value is 2140 and this is 0 0.3 press enter and after that we need to create the property so to create the property i will make a right click create and i will go to property so this is my p beam property p beam enter click on this now in this p beam i will go to card image and i will insert p beam here so check where is the p beam so this is p beam click on yes so now p beam is the card image specify the material so this material will be steel here and here we need to select the beam section so select beam section this is rectangular section after we create the property we also need to insert the cdef point as we have discussed so we need to insert them in the property if we go to the bottom here you will see continuation line we need to make a check on this continuation line 2 and you will see c1 d d1 d2 e1 e2 f1 f2 1 2 is basically the coordinate and c d e f are the points so this c point is basically 0 and this is 50 and if it is gone once again click on the property and continue this so this d point is 50 and 0 this is 0 okay so this is not 0 50 basically in case of this kind of point first we take this vertical axis then the horizontal axis so it is going to be 0 50 so it is going to be 50 0 and this is 0 50 so this is c1 50 this is 0 and this is 0 and this is 50 e1 is minus 50 0 and f1 is 0 and 0 plus enter this is minus 50 and plus enter so in this way we have inserted all the continuation points cdef point so after that we can create the component and beam and we are going to continue this in the next lecture